Have you been waiting for the market to crash? Well, have I got some amazing deals to show you here in Cedar City, Utah. Right now, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of what's coming a little bit later in the video. Look at the views. Nice. This is Tammy Lamba. Thank you for tuning in today. And we are going to see the best deals in Cedar City right now. The market has really changed and it has definitely turned into a buyer's market. In fact, yesterday, the mortgage rates just dropped by another point. So that means we have a lot more inventory. So the sellers are really trying to do different incentives, like they're giving buy down points, they're offering money off. And we're finding that with the purchase price, it's usually about 5% less than that, that you can get it for. Not always, but a lot of times, so I'm going to show you some of the best and most incredible deals right here in Cedar City, Utah. So let's jump right in. And just a disclaimer, um, I am a real estate agent here in Southern Utah. So I also have been in the industry for over 10 years. So this first one we're gonna see, it has a purchase price of 462,000. 920. It's got a total square feet of 3,495. It's a three bedroom, two bath, and a three car garage capacity. It's on a 0.27 acre lot and it was built in 2023. And the price per square foot is $132.45. So let's look at some pictures. That's the fun part. Now on this one, it is under construction. So this is pictures of a similar home that is, you know, getting built. Now on this one, they are offering a $10,000 lender incentive, which is great. This looks like your entryway. Big open floor plan. This looks like probably the dining room area. It's got a downstairs as well. Your mud room off the garage. That's a rendering. And the floor plan. Okay, that's all the pictures. So that was just a quick one. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our list. Okay, our second one, purchase price of $399,999, basically 400,000. Square feet is 3,009 with five bedrooms, three full baths, and the garage capacity is two with a, on a 0.16 acre lot. This was built in 2002 and it's $132.93 per square foot. Okay. Pictures, obviously, of the outside. All right. Your entryway, your family room. A nice stone fireplace. Well, that's interesting. I guess if you wanted to serve food through your kitchen. And there's our kitchen. Looks like a bit older style cabinets. This would be the primary room, and the primary bathroom. That looks like it's marble, I would say. This is the laundry room. What do you guys think about this blue countertop? Comment below. Can't say that I'm really a fan, but you know, to each their own. The bed bedrooms and then downstairs. And we've got our outside block wall. We're obviously in the basement. There's the window well. A family room down here. A 
this good sized. Flipping all pictures. <laughs> Okay. Hey, the third one we've got. Let's get up here. Okay, it is got a purchase price of four sixty nine nine. It's three thousand four hundred and fifty square feet, fifty four square feet. Sorry, three bedrooms, two baths, and it's a two car garage on a point forty one acre lot, and it was built in two thousand twenty two. So we've got a new one again. And it is $136.05 square per square foot. So we're slowly making our way up here. All right. Nice kitchen cabinets. I like that. The flooring is nice. Open floor plan. The pantry. They've gone to the darker cabinets in the primary bath, it looks like. We've got a double sink. walk-in closet also let me put out there that if any of these homes interest you I'm more than willing to go and do FaceTime video or a, just do a, vir a virtual tour for you anything to help your decisions in moving here bedrooms over here laundry room downstairs and it is an unfinished basement so you can design it how you want garage backyard it is a big lot okay on this one it's 495.9 is the purchase price it's 3,519 square feet with a three bedroom, two bath and two car garage. It's on a 0.26 acre lot, a newer one at two, in 2022. And it's at $140.92 per square foot. Let's look in here and see our pictures. Okay, it's nice. It's got the landscaping done. Entryway. Looks like a bedroom. All right. The open floor plan again like the windows running across there. What do you guys think about the different colors with the cabinets and then here on the bar? Let me know below. Don't know if I like that or not. Mudroom off the garage. Your laundry room. Here's your primary bedroom with looks like the barn doors.
a little bit of grass. Floor plan. Okay, now on this next one, it is 5,474 square feet. Oh, let's start over. This one is 769,000 um 5474 square feet with a four bedroom three full baths and six car garage capacity on a 0.30 acre lot and this was built in 2006 and it's for 140 dollars and 48 cents per square foot now this one is located on the golf course Brick and stucco. Okay, we've got our entryway. I'm liking this wood. I think we might have gone up into the loft. Seems like kind of random order of pictures. Yeah, we're upstairs. The little cubbies, I guess your kids or grandkids could play in. It's like a living room. Your family room. Ooh, I like that fireplace. That looks awesome. Nice. I think this would probably be the primary bedroom closet. Another bathroom. Your laundry room, nice size. I'm wondering what's in these little cupboards right there. What do you guys think? And it does have a steam shower in the primary bathroom. Nice size closet. Okay, I'm say I'm impressed with this home. Nice size kitchen. And there's the golf course. I think they said it was like by hole 17. Nice size backyard. Even has a little entryway out so you can get to the golf course. <laughs> nice upper deck patio below you got your golf cart out ready to go yeah it's definitely a big garage got a hunter it looks like okay tell me what you guys thought about that one well let's go to back to our list okay okay this next one is 525,000 asking price 3,703 square feet four bedrooms three baths and a two-car garage on a 0.32 acre lot and it was built in 2021 
and the price per square foot is $141.78. Or I forget, they do say that there is RV parking. Probably over here. Right. Kitchen and family room. Open floor plan, that's really popular. Are you guys liking the yellow walls? Let me know in your comments. The white cabin tree is nice. Powder room. I would think this would probably be the primary bedroom. We'll see the barn doors. walk-in shower. Oh, that's a good sized closet. Okay, we've got an unfinished basement. Looks like it's out in Ashdown Forest. This is one of the popular neighborhoods. This next one is 624900 asking price. Total square foot of 4385 five bedrooms, three full baths, and a two-car garage on a 0.33 acre lot built in 1999, and it is $142.51 price per square foot. Oh, a little bit older home. Look at the views. Nice. The thing about older homes is you're going to get the mature trees and the lawn and everything. So it looks like our entryway and then you've got a little living room off to the side. Here's the family room. Back in the, that year, they, you kind of broke up your rooms a little more instead of the flowing open floor plan. Which okay. Our kitchen. And dining area. Powder room. Laundry room. Our primary bedroom. Primary bath. Looks 
it's like an upstairs loft area. Office. Another bathroom. Bedroom. So it looks like we're downstairs now. a little faster. Okay, nice views from the backyard. Mature trees, landscaping. Okay, so I thought it would be fun now that we've seen the best deals per price per square foot. We're going to go to the most expensive price per square foot. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean it's the most expensive home, but it is on the upper end of price per square foot. We've got two of these to see. I always think they're fun to look at. So this one is 2395000 it is 4,322 square foot, three bedroom, three bath, and a five car garage on 50 acres. It was built in 2007 and it's $554.14 per square foot. So it's got an aerated pond with a gazebo and dock. like your laundry room right here. Kitchen. Family room. Oh, look at that stove. That's cute. <laughs> you guys like this stove? There's a lot of pictures, so I'm going to click a little faster. The entire upper level is um, the primary bedroom. And it has two decks. It's amazing views. Primary bath, it's like. I like the rock work. There's a lot you could do with 50 acres. Hmm. Looks like some old buildings in there. Indoor pool, nice. Okay, got one more to see. Okay, this one is 1725000 and it is 
got 2,930 square feet, three beds, two full baths, and four car garage. It's on 20 acres, built in 2014, and it's priced at $588.74 per square foot. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, and it's got um, RV parking and it's a pull through. You can go all the way through, which is nice instead of trying to back it in and then out. A living room. Nice beams, woodworking. I like that. Front door. Here we have our primary bedroom. I love the big windows, let in all the light. Fireplace. Nice big primary bathroom. Big closet. I like this family room. I like the feel. Kind of gives you a cabin type retreat feel, I think. And look at those views. Beautiful home. Look at the fireplace and mantle. It's all this flows very well. It, it does have a chef kitchen. Your pantry. Looks like your laundry room slash craft room or whatever you want to make it into which is nice it's been a few years since i've had time to do crafts <laughs> i'm i think 23 years behind on my scrapbooks that's how old my youngest is so that's about when i got too busy with five kids I just didn't have time to do it anymore. Now I've got four grandkids, so I really need to get on the ball. Nice shower. I love how everything flows. Again, beautiful views. Now there's a lot of pictures here, so I don't want to bore you, but fire pit. Gazebo. I don't know what this round thing is. Tell me what you think this little brown section is in your comments. Nice gate there. You're, you're definitely not surrounded by anyone, so that's nice. Okay. 
And I will say, you will definitely see wildlife all the time. what it would look like in winter. I can help you match your perfect home to your perfect neighborhood. In fact, you can just call me the matchmaker. Everybody's different and has different needs. And so we can match up those needs and homes and neighborhoods together. I am always available. You can call, text, or email me anytime. I've always got my phone on me. I'd absolutely love to help you explore Southern Utah and help you with your search. I can't wait to hear from you.